Hello, it's February 2nd, and welcome to this episode of Tiger Vision News. I'm Audrey. And I'm Lauren. And, and TVN, TVN starts right now. Congratulations to February Seniors of the Month, Sam Carter and Hannah Hackworth. If you are taking the ACT on February 10th, today is the last day to upload your photo to your test ticket. Sophomores, if you are plan to, planning to sign up for the PSAT 10, please pay your $16 fee by Friday, February 16th. If you are a junior and have an, any interest in the Naval Academy, see your counselor for more info. And now if you'll please join us for a moment of silence. Would you please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag? Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Ford Gibson Education Foundation, Info Media, Dr. Debbie Coy, The Tiger's Den, Mike Cooper Tractors, Ford Gibson State Bank, and Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center. Last Friday, 42 students from our IE and middle schools joined together to form Region E of the Circle of, the Circle of the State with Song Choir Festival at Boulevard Christian Church in Muskogee. Our Tiger Singers sang with 230 students from Shakota, Muskogee, Okmulgee, St. Joseph, and Vianne. This annual festival allows students all over the state of Oklahoma to sing the same songs during the day as a way to unite the state in song. This year, voices rang out eight songs of different music genre, with one being the jazz standard Route 66. Congrats to all of our student members on a job well done. OSUIT will host an open house on Saturday, February 17th at 1 p.m. OG&E will be there to provide information regarding internships and employment. Visit your counselors for more. Junior girls, today is the last day to turn in your Girl State application to the office. Tim Smith with the American Legion will be here today, fourth period, to speak with the junior boys about Boys State. As many of you know, today is Groundhog Day, and I'd like to share with you guys what I've learned about this fun holiday. Here's more. Today is Groundhog Day and according to legend, we'll find out whether we should wear a t-shirt and shorts or a winter coat. I've always wondered how a groundhog could be a meteorologist for a day. Here's more. The folklore of Groundhog Day states that if the Toxicani filler comes out of his hole on February 2nd and does not see a shadow, that means that spring is on the way. And if he comes out and it's sunny and he sees the shadow, it means six more weeks of winter. But there is no science to Groundhog Day at all, so it's just a folklore. On February 2nd in 1887, Groundhog Day was celebrated for the first time at Gobbler's Knob in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. If a supposedly immortal weather forecasting groundhog named Punxsutawney Phil came out of his hole on his day and sees his shadow, there will be six more weeks of winter weather. No shadow means an early spring. The Punxsutawney Groundhog Club Inner Circle President is supposedly the only one to be able to speak groundhog ease. According to this club, Phil has never been wrong. Rather, the president has misinterpreted the groundhog ease. Even if a groundhog isn't exactly a reliable weather source, don't worry about it. Tiger Vision has it covered. This is Lauren Wilcox reporting for Tiger Vision News. Groundhog ease. <laughs> That's pretty unbelievable. I know, right? As much as I wish we could talk to animals, Mr. Moydell just says it's folklore. <laughs> you can't always trust a groundhog for your weekly weather forecast, but let's flip it to Cooper for a more accurate one. Thanks, Audrey. This morning started off in the 20s, but will gradually make its way up to 45. 
in this afternoon. It's still not very warm, but luckily as we look to Saturday, the afternoon highs should reach the 50s with lows in the mid-30s with a 10% chance of precipitation. On Sunday, we'll have overcast skies with highs in the 40s, and we'll start off next week with highs in the 50s on Monday, dipping down to the 40s on Tuesday with a 20% chance of precipitation. We would like to thank Channel 6 for providing this week's weather graphic, and now a word from one of our sponsors, followed by an interesting piece on the year's robotics team. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home at the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Grab the controls and boot up the robot. The first robotics competition has kicked off all around the world with its new game, Power Up. For Gibson's team, Hostile Gato Robotics isn't letting up this year. The rules for this year's game is simple. Each alliance, groups of three teams, must gain control of their switch and fight for control of the scale by placing power cubes onto the side of their color, red or blue. Controlling a switch or the scale earns points for the alliances that own them. Near the end of the match, the robots must climb the scale to earn even more points. Each team must construct and program its robot to complete these tasks and ultimately earn ranking points based on their performance during the games. Here at Robotics, we find out what the tasks that we need to do, then we design, build, and then we compete in competitions. The team is planning to place cubes onto the switch and onto the scale to earn points faster. They are also designing a climbing mechanism onto the robot so other robots can climb onto them to earn even more climbing points. Robotics is mostly problem solving skills and just basic mechanical and electrical knowledge. This year's first robotics competition is bound to be exciting, just as it is every year. We wish good luck to Hostile Gato Robotics and to all competing teams this year. This is Hunter Barlow while reporting for Tiger Vision News. I've always thought being in robotics would be super fun. Me too. It's so cool to think that our students make machines like that. Definitely. Just this week, our high school began our 2018 campaign in the Pennies for Patients program. Our school has been taking part in this fundraiser for people with blood cancers like leukemia for the past 10 years. To continue helping these people, please bring your coins to your third hour's collection box. All donations will be counted on the 15th. The top fundraising class will receive a pizza party and the second place gets a pop party. Every cent counts, so please bring your coins. Yes, please do. Now let's see what Hayden has to say about this week's Tiger Sports. Thanks, Audrey. Tonight our high school basketball team is playing at Verdigris. Next Tuesday they will play at Wagner, and on Thursday they will play here against Tahlequah Tal Sequoia. If you're coming to the Tahlequah Sequoia game, please wear your Team Domenico t-shirts. There will also be barbecue sandwiches and bake sale where proceeds will go towards scholarships for a camper going to FCA camp. If you can't make it to the game, you can watch it on ForGibsonTigers.tv. Our swim team will travel to Jinx for the regional swim meet today and tomorrow, and we'll be swimming here against Miami and Tulsa Memorial on Thursday. Our junior high wrestlers travel to Oklahoma City for all state today and tomorrow. Best of luck to all our Tigers, and now, a word from one of our sponsors. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. Teens for Christ will be meeting at lunch today in the old gym. Toby Ogonla from New Life Center will be speaking. The second try ends on February 23rd, so make sure you have all of your schedules and grades where you want them before third try starts. I can't believe that this trimester is almost over. Me neither. Also, seniors, be sure to turn in your graduation portfolios before the 7th in order to keep your senior skip week privileges. Now let's see Noah for this week's episode of Riddle Me This. Schools teach us that intelligence is measured by how well we do on tests, but I'm here to prove that intelligence is measured by how well you perceive a question. This is Riddle Me This. You ready for a riddle? 
Yeah, I'm ready. All right, what ends everything? A period? No. What ends everything? What ends everything? A period. No. Oh. What ends everything? What? <laughs> G. Yes. Seriously? Yeah. Yay. I got the riddle right. <laughs> I think that was G. Oh, I was going to say G. G. Dang, I was going to oh say. Oh my gosh. Okay. What I ends see. everything? I see. I see. Yep. Okay. I got that. G. Everything. Oh! <laughs> I feel dumb. Yeah, me too. Why? No. G. Yes, G. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love it. I'm a horrible speller. That's all the time I have for this week. See you next week on Tiger Vision News. If you didn't know, today is Red Wear Red Day for the American Heart Association to raise awareness for women with heart disease. Thanks for watching this episode of TVN. I'm Lauren. And I'm Audrey. Tune in next week for more Tiger Vision news.